great catching up with my next guest because he's going to be fighting for some hardware coming up here for CFFC, CFFC 131, April 12th. It is uh, Morquez Forrest joining me here on the program yet again. Morquez, how are you, man? I'm doing great. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing great, but I'm not going to be fighting for some hardware coming up here in a little bit. Um, what an opportunity this is on Fight Pass. I know since you and I last spoke, you've really been carving out a name for yourself in the CFFC promotion. I'm assuming this was an opportunity you expected. Take me through you getting this opportunity and when you found out. So I recently found out a few weeks ago, um, but my last fight that I had for CFFC, I actually called out the current champ. I don't know the situation that was going on with him, but I definitely thought that I deserved and I earned an opportunity to fight for a title shot. After my last fight, um, I took a four-day four notice upper weight class against Nick, who was a tough individual. And I think that drew, uh, put me in a position to where I could ask for a title shot. But my last fight, my very last fight for uh, at 155 when I dominated in the first round with the submission, I just was like, okay, it's that time. I need to prove to everyone that I can beat the champ. I can beat whoever's currently holding the title. Yeah, and and, and again, like we mentioned it there, Fight Pass, uh, big promotion here. I mean, anytime you get any sort of hardware in the regional scene, especially with a promotion like this, big things are ahead. Uh, what's been the feedback like? I'm sure a lot of people are excited to see you get this opportunity. Yes, everyone's excited. Uh, it's definitely, it's nothing new to me except that it's, on the pro level now, I've had, I've held, as you know, I've held many titles when I was an amateur. This is pro now. So to get that opportunity in such a young record, only 4-0, uh, just, it, it gets me excited and I'm, I'm looking forward to the thrill. Yeah. And uh, was this the right amount of time off in between fights? I mean, again, I'm sure you're not complaining getting a fight for, for a title here, but uh, you know, were, were you hoping to fight a bit sooner than this? Take me through, you know, the last fight in this one. Again, last fight was short notice. So probably wanted a full camp this time around. Right. So I, I, it was good that I had the time off. Uh, I had a lot of things that happened in December. So it was, it was really good for me to have that time off, but now it's, it's kind of bad for my opponent because I've had so much time off. I've recovered. I've been working on technique. I've been training and cross training so much more. And it's just, it's, you're going to see a different person in that cage. Yeah, and then we can't wait. And let, let's talk about the style matchup here. Got to fight another uh, undefeated opponent here. Someone always got to go. Uh, how do you look at this fight stylistically? Uh, how do you feel like you match up against him? Uh, I think he's. I think he's game. I think he's really good all around. But I don't think that he holds a candle to most of the guys I've already fought. His style is similar to some of the guys that I train with in the gym. So I think I'm going to be able to control the pace. He's very aggressive move forward and i'm pretty much the same way so i think style wise i think that it'll be a it, it's going to be entertaining it's going to be very very entertaining yeah yeah we're looking forward to it uh training partners who've been some of the guys helping you get ready for this one uh, who've been some of the main training partners for this camp oh man so many people have been helping me out so i've been cross training with champion champions out in lakeland uh, Coach Ross has allowed me to go there. Obviously, my my home gyms are Gracie Brandon and Top Brothers, Team Far as well. Uh, I've been out to Fusion out in Orlando. Phil, Phil Rowe, uh, Mike Davis, Coach Julian, them guys have all been helping me. Uh, Kaizen, Coach Vince has allowed me to come there and get some work training with my boy Thor and them guys. Also, at Gracie South Tampa training with Billy Q Iron nice. Will Ali the the previous champ Blake that held the title for CFFC so and I'm getting I'm getting great looks I'm getting great experience as well yeah, and it's got to be such a luxury having, I mean, you just mentioned those gyms there. That's like, a, you know, the all-star team pretty much uh, getting to go work with different guys. Like, how how uh, how crucial has that been in your career? Just to be able to get to train with so high, so many high-level guys because uh, not, every, not every fighter has that opportunity to be able to cross-train like that. Right. So, for me, I think that is, it's helped me out tremendously because, I, I mean, I'm still undefeated. I went undefeated um, as an amateur. I'm still undefeated. But it also it's humbling as well. It shows you that there's different levels, like going with these guys that's already made it to where you're trying to get to. And that's the UFC or these higher promotions. Like when you go with these guys and you train with these guys, like they show you, this is the type of work that you need to put in to get to that next level. So it's a great experience. Um, 
going to take a hard turn here. I know you lost a good friend of yours, Coach Frank. Uh, how much is that on your mind going into this big opportunity? I'm sure something he wanted to be there for. That's got to be on your mind a bit. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's tough, but I found peace. You know, uh, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. He he told me where I would be at, but he never said that he would be there the whole ride. If that makes sense. Okay. So he's he's been with me. Uh, he told me the steps that I was going to be like where I was going to be at next year, which is, you know, 2024, but he never once said, Hey, I'm going to be along with you through this ride. He said, you're going to be champion. You're going to do this. You're going to do that. And he always implanted that in, in, into me. So I just take it. Uh, and I know he's with me, so I'm going to go out there and do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Well said. Um, your corner, what, what will that look like? I know we got some time here, but, uh, what's that going to look like, uh, coming up for your, your title fight? So it's going to be, uh, it's actually uh, a few of my coaches that's coached me before. So I have coached Mark Fritz, Coach Solomon, and also Coach Amanda. All these guys uh, and, and her have already coached me in previous fights before. Uh, we're just going back over the basics, getting back to that, to that aggressive style that we're going to need for this guy. Love it. What's your prediction? How's this one playing out uh, coming up here? <laughs> All I can say is it's going to be a classic. It's going to be legendary, but I see me walking out with the title. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I talked about the implications here. I mean, again, like you can go over the list of CFFC champs or LFA champs or whatever. It doesn't matter. Like any of those big promotions on Fight Pass, you win a title. Chances are you're either getting contender series, or you're getting signed to the UFC. I know you're not thinking too much about that because you still got to get the job done on April 12th. But uh, just the opportunity ahead. How, how how big is this moment in your career? Oh, it's huge. Def it's, it's the biggest opportunity for me thus far i think that this is also going to get me to where i'm trying to get to which is obviously the bigger promotions but i think that me getting that title one people can't hide anymore people can't say oh no i'm going they can't avoid contracts they can't say i don't want to fight this guy i don't want to fight this guy like now i get the opportunities that i'm looking for and, and one other thing, too, and we'll see if it pays off in this fight. I mean, again, we're really excited for this one, but you mentioned it there. You fought some tough opponents. You fought in situations that weren't ideal. You mentioned the short notice. How much has that prepared you uh, for an opportunity like this? Because you didn't get an easy, you know, go at it uh, early in your career, even your amateur career. I mean, when we did our interviews for when you were fighting for Vigilant, like those were good opponents. Yes. So I honestly think that the amateur fight that I had with Thor, it, it made me who I am today, it made me have to understand, like, this is really, this is it. Like, I have to go for everything. And the short notice fight with Nick made me believe in myself and made me understand that I'm built for this. Like, this is what I'm meant to do. So having that fight and having those fights as, as an amateur has made me grown as a person and as a fighter. And I just feel that I'm supposed to be here and I'm ready to fight. What's downtime looking like right now? I know again you're you're sort of building up for this big opportunity here, but you getting you watching any other sports? You, you getting any uh, time to yourself, or has it just been all business? Like, take me through sort of what life has been like outside nah, of the training it, uh, training center. Uh, outside of the training center, it's just been sleeping, getting sleeping and naps. eating, yeah. making sure I'm eating right. Yeah, oh, lots of naps. Like the recovery, the recovery right now. I visit uh one of my sponsors, K Four Studios. Shout out to K Four Studios. She's always helping me with recovery. So I'm doing like a lot of sleeping and uh, sauna blankets to help with the, the, the weight and the recovery that I need. That's great. Do you do the cold exposure as well? Or you just do the hot stuff with the sauna? I, I, I do the ice bath. I used to do, do cryo. I might go back to that depending on how I feel, but as of right now, I don't see much difference that I need to change because uh, I, I, I get all the training in, I get all the recovery. So I don't really think that I need too much of the cryo, but I do still do the ice bath. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I don't fight obviously, but, uh, but I've, I've been doing the, the, the ice uh, stuff and it, it, I just, I see a lot of benefits, you know, immune system, all that stuff. So that's why I bring it up. Cause I think the cold and the hot exposure is uh, good for you. You know, I think there's studies yes. on this too. People a lot smarter than me uh, saying how good it is. So that, that's great. Uh, it's CFFC 131 coming up here, April 12th. Uh, Marcus, thanks so much for doing this, man. It's great catching up with you. Uh, if there's anyone you want to thank any sponsors, any social media you want to mention, I'll give you the last word. All right. I like to thank Team Reaper, um, a new partnership with them, uh, K4 Studios, KLD Kitchen. Um, I also want to thank Rain and Berries as well. They're one of my sponsors. And also all the guys that's continuing to help me 
with this process and the cross training champions fusion fusion uh kaizen top brothers gracie brandon gracie south temp i appreciate you guys let's get this w